Hey everyone, thanks so much for checking out the video. I'm JP and this is Good Talk HQ. Today I want to ask you to do me a favor, okay? Instead of stopping and getting a soda or say a cup of coffee, instead save that money and put it towards one of the games on today's list. Play it for a bit and let me know down below in the comments how much fun you've been having. Is that a deal? Alright. As always, thank you to the extended family for being here. We truly appreciate it. And for the new folks, if you have a good time or we help you save a few dollars, please consider subscribing to become part of our wonderful group of game enthusiasts and deal seekers. If you're a fan of Nintendo or just video games in general, we'd love to welcome you into our group. Either way though, stay safe out there and please enjoy the video. Alright my beat em up fans, let's start off today's list with 99 Vitas, a pixelated button masher from Cubite Interactive, the wonderful creators of the Vassar collection. Now this game offers 4 or 5 hours of main story gameplay, but like with many beat em ups, there's plenty of replayability here to keep you coming back for more. Plus, the game has local and online multiplayer modes as well. The game features 11 playable characters, multiple game modes, epic boss battles with different endings, as well as tons of amazing upgrades to find. There's a lot on offer here while on sale until October 1st, mark down 80% to just $1.99. Please be sure to check it out. Next up, let's take a look at Dogarai, which is one of the more challenging and unassuming 2D platformers on the Switch. This one comes to us once again from Cubite Interactive, and again offers around 4 hours of main story gameplay. In Dogarai, we take over the role of Bones, who's a samurai pup with a wide variety of melee and special attacks at our fingertips. You can jump, double jump, dash, perform special attacks, but perhaps the most satisfying ability is you can slice bullets in true samurai fashion. Players will make their way through 8 challenging stages that change up style enough to keep you from getting bored and you'll face off against powerful enemies with even more brutally powerful bosses. Also, if you're not a fan of the multiple different shades of green, you can actually change that in the options menu. If you're interested in Dogarai though, make sure to grab it up before October 1st. It's marked down 60% again to just $1.99. Anyone else like me who grew up during the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo era will surely remember Smash TV. Well, Galaxy Champions TV is the spiritual successor to said game and it's fantastic here on the Switch. Now the game's main story should only last 3 or 4 hours, however with the level of difficulty and the replayability you'll likely get a lot more time out of that before you move on to something else. The game is available for 1 or 2 players in local co-op and features brutal fast paced run and gun gameplay, more than 40 unlockable upgrades, several amazing weapons to choose from, and some awesome boss fights. In fact the only goal of the game is to see how long you can survive. If you like these intense bullet storm style games, be sure to grab up Galaxy Champions TV before the sale ends on September 30th. It's marked down 72% to just $1.99. Are you ready to face the fears that haunt your dreams? Well, Recknum Cherry Dreamland asks you to do just that to save the kingdom in this amazing single player 2D retro adventure that should last roughly 4 to 6 hours. The game is brought to us by Nape Games and puts a heavy emphasis on action, exploration, and the fantastic platforming in this latest installment of the Recknum Saga. Players will explore thematic levels, unlock cool weapons and upgrades, and fight some fearsome bosses as you work to decipher the cryptic messages that were left behind by your ancestors. Now this game has a gorgeous retro monochrome aesthetic and a catchy soundtrack as well. If you're interested in exploring this dark dream world, make sure to check out Recknum Cherry Dreamland before the sale ends on October 6th. It's marked down 72% to just $1.99. Fans of shoot 'em ups and heavy metal, rejoice as Groot is back on sale. This single player 2D shooter comes to us from Dragus Games and is part of the secret sale we discussed before here on the channel. So make sure to check out the eShop for exact pricing as it can vary depending on whether or not you purchased one of their previous games. I want to give a shout out to Deathcrumb13 for the heads up. Thank you brother, much appreciated. Now in Groot, your mission is to annihilate an army of robotic enemies and bosses all while avoiding a storm of bullets, missiles, and lasers. The game features classic arcade style gameplay with awesome retro graphics and a heavy metal sound. There's a day and night cycle with dynamic weather and even multiple final bosses depending on how the story plays out during your playthrough. So if you're interested, make sure to check this one out before the sale ends on September 27th. It's marked down 60% to just $1.99, but again be sure to check out the exact pricing as Dragus Games does do some secret sales. Submerged is a single player, third person exploration game from Uppercut Games and offers players a main story that should last roughly 3-5 to five hours. Now this game is all about exploring this mysteriously flooded city that features vast outdoor environments that are absolutely gorgeous. There's a time cycle allowing you to experience sunrise or sunset from atop of these massive structures that stand out from the water. You'll traverse this gorgeous city using your small fishing boat along with some other nifty gadgets. Now again, this is all about exploration, and in fact it doesn't even have a combat system. You'll have to put together the pieces of the story at your own pace. 
If you're interested in exploring this half-sunken city, make sure to check out Submerged before the sale ends on September 28th. It's marked down 80% once again to just $199. Death Tales is a dark and whimsical 2D action platformer from Arcade Distillery offering roughly 5 hours of main story gameplay. Now the game is available for 1 or 2 players in local co-op, and players will embark on an adventure to collect equipment and spells, learn powerful attacks, and fight off hordes of enemies. The game features more than 25 amazing levels that have been designed beautifully. There's loads of side quests and even a shop that changes daily, where you can spend these souls that you collect along the way. Speaking of daily changes, there's actually a daily bounty system as well which will allow you to hunt down some amazing bosses. Now as I mentioned, the entire game can be played solo, but you can also team up for some 2 player action as well. If you're interested in Death Tales, make sure to check it out before the sale ends on October 9th, it's marked down 80% to just $1.99. Infinite Beyond the Mind is another 2D action platformer, this time from Blowfish Studios, and once again offers co-op action for 2 players. Now again, the game will only last 3 or 4 hours, but at its current price, it's a solid value. Players will take on an evil queen and her army as she works towards world domination. You can play as either of the two protagonists, or as both if you have a second player, as you take on a wide variety of epic bosses and baddies. Now this game is all about the lightning quick reflexes, and your agility is your key to survival. So it may take a little bit to master the moveset, but when you do, you'll get it down and you'll be moving non-stop and mowing down the bad guys in the process. So if you feel up to the challenge, be sure to check out Infinite Beyond the Mind before October 6th. It's marked down 80% to just $1.99. Alright Schmup fans, we have a great party style space shooter on sale this week, Last Encounter. This one comes to us from Celestia Games and offers hours and hours of fun for up to 4 players in local co-op. Now this game features a procedurally generated galaxy to explore, unlockable pilot ships and weapon components which you can use to create your own Frankenstein style weapon combining the most powerful parts. This mechanic is amazing and makes for some interesting trial and error type scenarios as you try to find the best combinations that will do the most damage. The main highlight for me though were the boss battles, especially with more than one player they can become quite intense. Last Encounter is on sale until October 11th so be sure to check it out as it's currently marked down 87% to just $1.99. State of Mind is an amazing single player narrative driven adventure game set in a dystopian future where machines have risen to power and are colonizing the earth. This sci-fi thriller features an amazing cast of playable characters and NPCs, some beautifully crafted worlds combining realistic environments with low poly characters, and the game should last roughly 10 to 12 hours, making it one of the longer games on the list. We start off as a young journalist named Richard, but along the way we'll play as 5 additional characters that we bounce between giving unique perspectives to the world and the events that are unfolding. Now I have to say the puzzles are perhaps a bit too easy, but the story is worth experiencing and especially if it will cost less than $2. If you've been thinking about checking this one out, please do so before the sale ends on September 30th as it's currently marked down to just $1.99 which is 90% off and matches its all time low. Alright folks, today's episode we have a special guest, little man himself, Peyton Let's Plays. Hey little man, what's your pick for the week? Hey Dad, hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. My pick for the week is Dadish 2. It's a charming 2D platformer for one player, and it will last about 3 or 4 hours. The game has 50 cool levels and 5 epic bosses. You play as a rash dad searching for his missing kids. When you find them, they always have something silly to say. The best part though, is sometimes you get to ride a hamburger. Dadish 2 is on sale until October 11th. Mark down to just $1.99. Alright folks, here are some other games to check out while you're on the eShop. Alright everyone, that's going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode. We appreciate you taking a few minutes to hang out with us again as always. And again, to the new folks, please consider subscribing to join our wonderful community here at the channel. We'll cover Nintendo Switch related content every week and we'll do monthly giveaways as well. In fact, we have one coming up real soon, so there's still time to enter. All you have to do is be subbed to the channel, hit that like button, and leave us a comment down below so we can add your name to the list for one of our free eShop gift cards. Either way though, thanks for watching. Please stay safe out there and we'll let little man take us home. Bye everyone. That's all for today's list. We hope you liked the video. If you did, consider subscribing and liking down below. Okay, bye.